In our next problem, we'll use Adam's method. Use Adam's method to apportion the doctors in the clinic. We have our clinics A, B, and C and their populations given. With Adam's method, we're going to choose a value which is larger than the standard divisor. And we'll take our populations and divide by that value which we'll call D. We can use by trial and error different ways to come up with that value. I found in previous calculations that a value that's going to work here would be to let D equal the value of 55. So we're going to take each of our numbers and divide by 55. That's going to give us, for the first clinic, 2.16. For the second clinic, we end up with an exact value, 3, 3.00. For the third clinic, we end up with 3.93. Now, with Adam's method, we're going to come up with a modified upper quota, which means we're going to take each of these values and go up to the next whole number when we have a decimal portion. So here we have 0.16 decimal part. We're going to round that up to 3. In our clinic B, we have an exact value. So we're going to keep that at the value 3. And for clinic C, we round up to 4. Notice that we end up with a total of 10, and that's the number of doctors we need to apportion. So Adam's apportionment would be 3, 3, and 4.